don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's like freezing rain, snow, sleet mixture. It was great big snowflakes, and then as soon as I started showing you guys, it's turned over to the sleet. <laughs> oh well, it's pretty. Well, here's some bad news. Our skylight is leaking. We've lived in this house 26 years. It's the first time we've ever had problems with it. But it got icy today and now it's raining a whole bunch. And it started with just a little spot over there and now it has extended all the way over to here. And it's going all the way over. We just got done going up in the attic. And you can see where it's just, where it's coming in and where it's coming down. So, yeah, I'm going to be calling a roofing company tomorrow. And you can see it's actively leaking. So I've got a bowl down here to catch water. Django is just fascinated <laughs> by the water dripping. What do you think, butter? <laughs> butter. What do you think, buddy? I was going to say Bubba and Buddy at the same time, I guess. That's pretty crazy, huh? We'll have to get it fixed. I just hope we can get somebody to come out here pretty soon, because it's, it's going to be raining all night. Who knows what it's going to look like in the morning. But we still got a roof over our head. <clears throat> we still have a nice warm house to be in so yeah I look like I just got out of a bath just a little bit ago but <clears throat> and it's actually Tuesday right now but yeah so we'll just have to see what that will entail I'll let you know once we find out <laughs> hey guys so today's Wednesday I didn't vlog at all on Monday then Tuesday was where I showed, like at the beginning of the day, um, how it was snowing and sleeting. It like, it snowed and it sleeted and ice and then rain. And it was just a weird day. And then it rained a good part of the night. So <laughs> we had a lot of leaking going on. Um, but the roofing company is coming out today at 1 to look at our situation. Hopefully, even if they can't fix it right now, hopefully they can at least put something temporary. So, because Thursday, tomorrow night, we're supposed to get a winter storm. And so, you know, all that with melting or whatever, it's just going to keep leaking. I'll show you. It, it did get worse, but it's okay now because there's no rain and right now and everything that was on the roof um the rain last night like melted the ice off um so we'll see what they say but yeah we're under a winter storm right now it's a watch for tomorrow night and then i was thinking i was working on some year-end reporting and stuff and it's like for work and it's like I can't believe tomorrow is the last day of 2020. That's just, it like, it went by so fast. And uh, yeah, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to give a little update. And then on the my way back <laughs> to my laptop for work, I'll stop and show you what it looks like today in there. And then it's up in there so yeah well the roofer came early he called to see if it was okay if he came out earlier and of course Brian said yes um, it's somewhere it's not a national company um, it, but if you're by the Kansas City area it's called pyramid well hold on let me get the card real quick I want to say the right place so it's Pyramid Roofing Company, Inc. And they're in Grandview, Missouri, but they're pyramidroofingkc.com. 
So if you're in the Kansas City area, um, they're a really good place. But then he came out and he said that it just needed like the flashing and stuff, just needed the caulk had come unsealed. It came separated, so he re-caulked all the stuff up there, plus the nails and stuff, and didn't charge us anything. Brian went ahead and gave him a tip, <laughs> but um, didn't charge anything, but he said everything should be okay. I mean, so it's not going to leak anymore. Brian's still going to have to work on getting the drywall and all that repaired, but no, didn't need a new skylight, so that's a good thing, and so that's the update on that. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. It's New Year's Eve. I have, we have, we're not doing anything for New Year's Eve, but I figured it's New Year's Eve, so I put on makeup. I have like a sweat, I still have house slippers on. <laughs> I put on an, a sweater and put my hair up in a high ponytail, and I don't know, that that's my celebration of this year getting over and later um, I'm gonna celebrate with my Animal Crossing game um, that's the game that's on Nintendo Switch that I have been playing since April every day and I just it's really helped me through this crazy crazy year just something about the little animals and interacting with them and like building things on the island and decorating and decorating the little house and just all that stuff. It has just brought me a lot of enjoyment. Well, they're doing a New Year's celebration tonight. So after I get off work, I'm going to go see what that's all about. And I mean, it's in real time. So the countdown would be at midnight and everything. So if I find myself getting really tired, I may adjust the time because if you adjust the time on the Nintendo Switch, you can kind of trick the game into thinking it's, you know, earlier or later than it really is because nine times out of ten on New Year's Eve, I don't end up staying up till midnight. I think I did last year though. And if I'm doing something to keep me busy, I'll be able to, but so yeah. And then tomorrow, it was supposed to be like late today, but now I guess it's, we're getting a winter storm, so we'll see. <laughs> and at least as of right now, but you know how the weather changes as of right now in the area I live in, they're calling for half an inch of ice, which is terrible, and five inches of snow. So... I would much rather have way more snow and very little or no ice because the ice does a lot of damage to like trees and power lines and all that stuff. So it'll be the test though to make sure that the skylight <laughs> doesn't leak. Um, I trust that the guy did a good job. So he said we may eventually have to replace the actual skylight. He said most people do but it didn't look to him like it's, it's not cracked there's no he doesn't think that you know we're near needing to replace it yet so that's pretty good but anyway I need to get to work and do my not only my month in reporting my year in reporting it's still crazy to think it's the end of the year not that you know turning 2021 is going to magically do anything because, you know, it's not. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> I always go into every new year with feeling positive. And to me, even though 2020, we have been dealing with the coronavirus, I am so thankful we've stayed healthy. And I am so thankful I had my hysterectomy because I feel like that was one of the best decisions I ever made. I feel so much better. But anyway, my arm is getting tired. So I'll talk to you again in a little while. <laughs>
like this system's booted out of here by late afternoon, and then it leaves us with all the accumulation. So what are we talking about accumulation-wise? Well, let's talk about the numbers here. I think the majority of it, ice is going to be first on the Missouri side, but then when you talk about snowfall totals, the bulk of the snowfall is going to be on the Kansas side, but as an average, it could be anywhere to three to four inches for everyone in this uh, purple and blue shaded, very light snowfall for Sedalia, Clinton, where it's just a tad warmer. Well, we'll just have to see what we end up with. So, I'm more worried about the ice than anything. I don't want the ice, but... We're, we've got plenty of food in our house. Yesterday, after I got off work, I went out into the shed and I did some rearranging in the garage. Some of the stuff we had on the shelf out there that we don't get to very often, I switched that out with paper towels, toilet paper, and Kleenex and brought them all in. And so, um, <laughs> he just jumped on my lap. So, and then, uh, we got plenty of food in the freezer, we have eggs, we have bread, we have all the stuff, you know, that you, we have milk, we have all the stuff that you need for a couple of days, because tomorrow we won't be going anywhere. Unfortunately, one of the kids has to work, not too thrilled about that, but um, they're real careful driving and everything, so. But anyway, we'll just keep watching and see what happens we have a little new year's countdown on animal crossing and then marshall that little white squirrel right there oh they want a cat tail oh a cat tail he's um singing uh django dude There's balloons and everything out, and then the little countdown going, and then later, I guess there's going to be fireworks and stuff, so, yeah, that's going to be like my, my midnight celebration is playing my game, but before then, I'm going to see if Brian wants to play some Yahtzee or something. So I got my little character all ready for later, because I'm going to log off and do some other things and then get back on here later but I got a little party dress on her and some apple cider and a little New Year's hat so I love this game I get so much enjoyment out of it get everybody all dressed up it's really only 920 but <clears throat> I set the time up so I wouldn't have to stay up real late so I'm gonna like celebrate New Year's with these guys and then I'm going to set the time back to normal, but look at all of them. They're all over, just walking around with their little party hats on. Oh my gosh, look at Bill and his sunglasses. Dude, you're so cute. Rosie here, she's my favorite. You can hear all their little footsteps. This is a penguin. His name is Wade. Now we all have glow sticks. Look. Oh, he's going to talk. Darn it. I didn't mean to do that. But like, let's see if I can make sure I'm trying not to talk to any of Oh, nope. <laughs> I was trying to show you what the glow stick does. <laughs> not much longer.
because that was really neat. Look at all the little guys dancing and they're all happy. And the fireworks. It is so cute. I love this game. Here's what we have so far. There's ice underneath all this. But luckily it switched over to snow quicker. I don't know if you can see. There's ice. But it's early in the day. It's supposed to supposedly snow all day, so you can still see the grass right now. It's about seven in the morning. So let's see how much the grass gets covered up today. Right now it's just really pretty, I think. Weather like today's calls for oatmeal. Love oatmeal. So <clears throat> it's a couple hours later and you can still see a little bit of grass. Um, they're call now they're saying six inches, but we'll see. Sure is pretty. It alternates between like these kind of smaller snowflakes <clears throat> to some like really, really big ones. <laughs> and then it's just there that six inches of snow in Missouri is not really that big of a deal. I mean, it's a kind of a big deal, but really not a big deal. You people like in Colorado and Iowa, Minnesota, all those places that get tons, but the, they get tons of snow. You're like, hey, you sissies. Um, it's the ice that came down because there's lots of car accidents and stuff because of all the ice underneath. But we're staying in today. So it's almost done. Looks like. And this is what we got. Not too bad. Definitely not six inches like they said. But that's okay. Hey guys, it is actually Saturday. About noon. Still in pajamas. Planning on staying in pajamas today. We're not going anywhere. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week. I know there really isn't much to it this week, but it's just been a very chill week. <laughs> but hopefully there'll be more to next week and hopefully you'll come back. But that's it for this week. And I hope everybody had a very happy new year. I hope you're staying healthy and safe out there. But I will talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs>